So let's go ahead and go over. Let's go ahead and make the Venom Gyre Claw before we before we move on to our Eater of Worlds project. This is going to be a cheap craft. It's mainly the base is the cost for the Venom Gyre Claw. Well, this is what we're making actually. We're, we're making a so it's basically it's going to be Woe Essence for spell damage. It's going to be flat chaos damage, and then we are going to uh, Ashling the Chaos Pin. And then you just reforge crit for T1 crit chance or T1 crit multi, and then we just finish with crafted. So I guess let's let's look at what the ideal the ideal claw would be then for Venom Gyre. Since it it has a fractured essence mod, you can actually have a two essence mods. For people that don't know, you 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 can have two essence mods on an item. It just has to uh one of them has to be fractured. But yeah, we're gonna go with flat chaos damage. There's only one tier of flat chaos damage, so that's why it's not hard at all to, to, to make the pre the prefixes are an absolute joke. Since there's only one tier of flat chaos, we do have to hit the unveil though, which is, you know, veiled chaos orb until we get unveiled, a uh, veiled prefix. And then you just uh, unveil and chaos pin. You can't block anything. And then I guess we reforge crit until we hit global crit multi then. Hopefully tier one. We probably settle on tier two. Tier one would be ideal. And then finish with bench crafted. Finish with strength and dex or strength and int crit chance on there. So they get because they are a strength stack venom gyre, so they do want that strength. So this is the ideal glow that we're gonna make. It does need to be so for T1, the T1 flat. Let, let's find it. 83 item level is what you need, so you can have that T1 flat chaos. Uh, basically, so we're gonna essence spam woe essence because they use crown of eyes to convert that increased spell damage to increase attack damage. It's only a 1 in 78, and it's it's just low essences, so it's not going to be too hard to hit. I got the base for 30x. Well, this league is a bit small now, huh? Interesting. Okay, so the base is normally around 47x, I guess. 48, 47, 48, 40 technically. But yeah, I got this for 30x last night when I was looking for a base before we did the craft today. Not bad. All right, so let's get started. We have a lot of woe essences here. And there it is. Now we have to get rid of the lightning damage though. So we just have to gamble. I mean, luckily woe essences aren't the end of the world. So it's not the worst, but it's just kind of annoying having to spam so many times for it. And we have to go one more time, one in three. And we remove the woe essence, so to go again. Oh, we hit it that, that fast, okay. But we removed the spell damage on the very first annul, man. Oh my god. Okay. Unlucky. No, what is going on? How did we just hit T1 flat K like or not T1 well, did T1 did we just hit flat chaos damage like three well, woe essences in a row? Have what are the chances of that happening? What are actually the chances of that happening? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know, dude. I can't defend myself. Whatever. Alright, so we did fill up the suffixes, though, so we do need to, um... We do need to reforge keeping prefixes, which I already have one, so it's fine. And now, we uh, are going to lock our prefixes and Veiled Chaos Orb. Because we want to get a Veiled Prefix. But we can fill up the prefixes here and just get screwed, so... But the thing is, woe essences aren't expensive though, so I don't mind. Like, 
So if you want to deterministically slam a prefix, a veiled prefix, you would do Ashling, but I don't think it's worth paying two, four exalts per attempt when Woe Essences are literally a joke. They're so cheap. If I do have to get it again, it's not that big of a deal. All right, Veiled Suffix, which we don't want. So let's... Prefixes cannot be changed again. Go again. Veiled Prefix. So there you go. Now you can't block anything since our prefixes are completely full. So you just have to unveil it and hope you hit Chaos Pin. And we got it. So our prefixes are done. It's just it's just skill at this point, right? I guess, huh? That's our that's our new rule for Twitch chat in this channel. I don't want you to compliment me. All right, treat me like shit. Just degrade me. I just want you to treat me like shit. Okay. Just treat me like like Rutu's chat chat treats him, dude. Just degrade me. What did he say? Now we are just reforge crit. So we're gonna prefix lock, and we want to hit a T1 or T2 crit multi. Are you fucking? How do I make a video on this, man? Okay, well, uh, I guess our content for the day is almost done with crafting. Uh, I just don't know. What to, I don't know how to defend myself, man. I don't know. We do need to get the bench craft, though. Yeah, just hit it, I guess. Just one to one. <laughs> just first try everything, I guess. Uh, so now we have to divine it, though. But yeah, that's done. Um. Global crit multi, spell damage, strength. So... We have T1 crit multi. This guy fractured crit multi. Interesting. T2 sh attack speed. Okay, so 70 exalts maybe two days ago. 70, 70 is nine hours ago. Um, Oh, this one's worse than R, is it? Are we 1% less? No, wait, we oh, these, ours is better, actually. We'll try ADX, since ours is the best in the game right now. Listed, I mean. Yeah, this is just day one. We're going to do about 100 of these a day. Do about 100 a day. Maybe I'll just shuffle. Shut up, Gwen. I'm... Oh! Here it is. We got this like three minutes ago. Um, I'm in debt, but we're just gonna pay off this debt right here, dude. Um, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, I told you guys, dude. You guys should never doubt me, ever. Something felt good. Wow. Go. So, I'll shut it, dude. Hey everyone, it's Spicy Sushi. Hope you enjoyed this little crafting demo. Now, uh, before this claw, we actually sold one for about 60-ish exalts. Um, it sold for significantly lower for this one, even though it's still a uh, technically a Venom Gyre claw, because uh, on that one, we hit T1 global, uh, I mean, uh, sorry, local crit chance, which is not the preferred hit, but you would want to stop on this because it, it is still, you know, it, it's still pretty hard to hit that and it still sells for profit. Um, you know, the issue is, is that Venom Gyre Strength Stacker normally wants to have this T1 global crit multi that we hit on the expensive claw because you can finish with bench crafted uh, crit chance as well as strength, which is um, going to be more beneficial for that build. Now, the one that we sold for 60 ish, it has uh, it still has its value to other builds that make use of Battle Mage. Um, and so that's why it does sell, it still sells. And that's why you would probably want to stop on that. The bottleneck of this claw is mainly the, um, you know, getting the base. It is much more expensive to make the base than to just uh, get it yourself if one pops up. You could go with um, fractured uh, crit multi. You could go with fractured attack speed like I went with. Uh, but just keep in mind the base is going to be a significant portion of the total crafting cost And that's where the majority of the investment is going to lie um, But anyway, hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one